Hey guys, so I thought I'd make a little video update you on how things are going uh, with myself. Obviously, I think everybody knows I haven't been well. And I thought I'd also talk about fasting, but not fasting in the spiritual sense, but in the physical and the healing sense, the medicinal sense. So I was uh, very ill two weeks ago, as you all know, I think. I found about two weeks ago, I was in bed for like six days. And it was just a virus. I catch a lot of viruses. I interact with sick people all the time. And the level of stress I've been under has suppressed my immune system or depleted it, however you want to look at it. And I need to work on that. And I've started already by just handing things over to my staff and saying, do it yourselves. I can't do it anymore. I'm too tired. I don't need to know about these things. And with 40 staff and perhaps probably of my own failings, not the best management structure in place to do that, then I've had to do something about it. And that's the problem I faced with stress. So don't take stress lightly. I can see when I'm stressed and uh, I just presumed I'd push through it. I eat right, I exercise, I'm strong. It's not the case. Stress will demolish your immune system. And people around you are getting a sore throat for half a day and you get a sore throat and end up on your back unable to get out of bed for three days from the same virus. And that tells me how weak my immune system has become. So I wanted to talk, as I say, about fasting and its benefits. And I am at the present moment in a water fast. Now, I'm not a stranger to water fasting. I've water fasted quite a bit in my life and I advocate it for as the highest form of healing for most ailments on the planet. Nearly all, I think I would dare say at present. Now, some of the things people don't understand is that your body can be its own doctor. It can rebalance its own body chemistry. It doesn't need drugs to do that. It can be its own surgeon. Persons with blocked arteries can fast 40 days quite safely on water or herbal teas even if they prefer. I find water is easier because you're not tempting your taste buds uh, with flavors and tastes. And at the end of it, they will have, their body will have eaten the, the plaque in their arteries and they won't need heart surgery. And you don't need to take my word for it. Just look, uh, starved, starved to life, starved to life. I think it's called on YouTube, a man who documented his 40 days on herbal tea and uh, digested his own cancerous tumor in doing so. So it works. It's the highest form of healing. But what I want to speak about is I know from what I've read that in studies, it's shown that the immune system can completely reset itself and begin to regenerate with three days of just consuming water and no calories. So I am on my fourth day now of not consuming any calories. I, first of all, after I recovered from having this fever and sickness, I exerted myself far too much by traveling to Uganda and going to see the, going to see the gorilla in the forest, in the jungle. And uh, this was a stupid idea, but I, I knew I wouldn't get a chance to do this again in my life probably and it was paid for by my family as a wedding gift so i went i felt good while i was there but uh, even the day before i went to see the gorilla i was shaky but i wasn't uh, suffering from any issues just fatigue like the sickness had gone had i still been sick i wouldn't have gone because i passed anything to the gorillas um, but the fatigue and everything had gone uh, the sickness and everything had gone i was just fatigued so i subsequently got sick uh, on my return and instead of going away to rest somewhere I just ceased taking in calories and I came down with a small fever uh, swollen glands in my throat and a huge bouncing headache and I immediately severed all calories uh, and within 24 hours all symptoms had gone no problem that's how it works that's how everybody's body works if you have a cold or a flu and you fast, your symptoms will go away quickly. If you don't, it will be prolonged. People have colds for a week, two weeks, 
feeling ill in bed if you just fast it'll go away in two days guaranteed everybody's body is the same around 50 percent of your body's energy is wasted on digestion if you can lay still in your bed and not eat and just wait and let your body go to work let that little army inside you the immune system do its job then you'll overcome it Unfortunately, as my immune system is suppressed, it took some time and I've pushed the water fast out longer. Uh, not for spiritual reasons, but purely for the reason of wanting to reset my immune system. Uh, your body will seek out damaged immune cells and uh, white blood cells when you're fasting on water. And then it will regenerate them when you start refeeding. I am... Um, in a detox cycle, I want to stop. I'm not planning on doing a long fast. I need to stop because I do have stuff that I need to do. Um, but I'm in a detox cycle right now. When you're in a detox cycle, you, unless you've done it, you won't know what I mean. You can't start eating. You can't start eating. You have to break it very carefully. Uh, refeeding on your fast is just as important as the fast. I've seen very uneducated people break fasts with bacon and eggs and uh, 10 days fasts, 14 day fasts and uh, they just don't know what they're doing you can kill yourself literally you can kill yourself doing that it has to be high water content foods easy to digest preferably fruit like watermelon but i am deep into a detox cycle and i need to wait for my body to finish purging this layer of toxicity that it's dealing with and of course the virus that it's just killed and one of the reasons i know i'm deep in there which is a bit yucky but um uh, how white my tongue is and this is a common symptom of water fasting. I had a tongue that was white throughout my 40 days and 40 nights when I fasted. And it started to get clear towards the end, but it didn't clear up completely. They say when it's clear, you're free of toxins, but it didn't clear up completely. And I was fairly toxic from the years of drug abuse, etc. So, And clearly I'm toxic now, but I presume that's toxins from... Uh, having to take things like anti-malarials when I've had malaria three times, I've had typhoid and uh, mebiasis, so I've done courses of antibiotics and these things are toxic, you know, your body stores the toxins from there. My diet has not been as clean as it used to be since I got with Fritzy and she tainted me a little bit, shall we say, but uh, I don't mind that. Um, but I'm going to go to a raw diet for a few weeks because I see raw eating here as a healing diet. It's not sustainable long term for me with the life I live. Uh, it's just not. And I live in the tropics here. You know, I live in East Africa. But you can't do it. You can't store enough fruit. You can't run around wasting time every day getting it. And I have to eat with the family, and the family can't eat here uh, raw food. And also I can't go out and work with the Maasai if I'm eating only fruit because it'll just spoil and there's no way to store things without the fridge. Big raw is much easier back in the West, believe me. So, uh, but it is the highest form of healing in the food sense uh, that you'll come by. And if you can do it, then, then do it. You'll feel great, you'll feel energized. Uh, but I'll do it for a period of time once I finish this with, with this fast. I don't know when I'll finish. It'll depend when my body is finished dealing with this. Now, I'm only four days in and I know there's toxins to purge and as I say, my tongue is one. I have lower back pain, which is my kidneys dealing with things. And uh, I'm not unfamiliar to this, but for those of you who have never fasted for any reason, it would be pretty scary. I know because I was once there when I first did it. And uh, you've just got to soldier on through and realize that these aches and pains are beneficial it's your body dumping toxins into your bloodstream and making you feel nauseous and icky and tired but you've just got to rest if you move around you can move around and do a spiritual fast but for a healing fast if you move around you'll just stop the detox your body won't bother putting the energy into detox because it's using all its energy trying to cope with uh, the, the workings of your body due to the fact your carnal mind's not staying still so uh I advise complete bed rest. I haven't left my bed for four days. I was sick anyway when I started. But uh, you can't go about your daily routine and expect to get in healing from it. Uh, that's just a waste of time, to be perfectly honest. So, so yeah, I'm water fasting for uh, health purposes and health reasons at the moment. 
and I feel good despite the fact I'm low energy and I'm detoxing my mouth tastes like crap with this white tongue. I feel good because I know that my body is going through a natural healing process and pulling through a layer of healing and I know when I'm finished my body will be all the more stronger as it was when I finished uh, my long fasts. I've done very many long fasts. In my life I try to count I think I fasted more than 365 days in my life altogether um, but not just one day fasts and stuff I'm talking like group group together like two weeks three weeks four weeks five six weeks um, and it changed my life spiritually completely but uh, physically I'm sure it made me much stronger after the years of abuse I'd done with drugs etc and uh, my cardiovascular health my respiratory health after being a smoker uh, I mean now my body can run and run and run without getting tired my body can run cardiovascularly and respiratory speaking as far as it wants my knees and my joints will get an injury before my body stops running that's something I've learned so fasting strengthened me to come uh, and do what God needed me to do not only physically but spiritually mentally and emotionally as well so yeah feeling yucky and at least I'm not sick the virus is gone I'm now just continuing with this uh, detox cycle I'm in and when that's finished I'll break the fast and get myself back to normal and hopefully I've done enough to reset my immune system and for those of you who ever deal with sickness colds flus even the bigger sicknesses, cancer, heart disease, look into fasting. There are too many people who have needed to have surgery to remove tumours. Uh, of course, it depends on your age and things like that, uh, who have fasted and they've no longer had cancer. They needed heart surgery, fasted, no longer needed heart surgery. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's an all-round beneficial thing for us to understand that our body has its own... Uh, doctor built within it and all you've got to do is sit still stop eating and let it use its energy to be the doctor so dogs are wanting my attention as always okay i'm gonna go back to bed god bless guys bye sometimes in our lives we all have pain we all have sorrow we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me, when you're not strong, I'll be your friend, and I'll help you carry on, for it won't be long, till I'm gonna need somebody.